And so I, I talked about these different technologies. Yep. Uh, homomorphic encryption, um, secure multiparty computation, and differential privacy, and yep. fragile learning. Yep. And all these, I call them component technologies for responsible data use. So the goal is really, um, as we all know, data is a key driver of modern economy. And also, it's really the lifeblood of AI machine learning. Without yeah. data, you are yeah. not going to be able to learn anything. Yeah. Um, but of course, a lot of this data is really sensitive. And going forward, the problem is only going to get worse and worse. So it's really important that as we do data analysis and machine learning, we enable this responsible data use, including uh, providing a better um, privacy and also ensuring that uh, uh, users actually get fair value or get benefits from their data and so on. Nice. So overall, this is what I call uh, leading to a responsible data economy. Yeah. And there are, uh, in my mind, so there are three key principles of a responsible data economy. Mm -hmm. uh, one, as I mentioned already, is providing better privacy and also more importantly, providing this data rights so that users can actually um, take better control of their data uh, and, uh, and in this case also will help. Uh, so, so that's one. So this can serve as a foundation for ensuring that data is not being uh, misused. And also secondly, ensuring that data actually uh, users get fair value, get sufficient benefits from that data. And right. the third one is how we can you know, combine the society uh, together to ensure that uh, we do get max uh, uh, use, max value, max yeah. value out of the data nice. to for you know the the best interests and social welfare, um, uh, right for for the whole society.